Ready? Um, so today, I'm gonna show you some bug updates and map updates. Since there's a um, fly mouse update for fly DGQ1. So let's get back first. Um, let's get some items. So the bag will be like this. You need to press the your back button. Press and hold your back button. And you can do whatever you like in here. So if you want to make this disappear, uh, you have to release the your back button. So that will be it. So you have to press and hold your back button and then release the back button. So I'll teach you how to do it. So open the Q1 up, Eddie. Make um, buttons for bag. For me, it's Q. Double click it. And it should be click and instant confirm then place this on top on here and then save after that um, click the bag button then open the fly DG app click edit make again a Q button Q so double click this will be fly mouse and press and hold to turn on and click click this link and set it to your prefer uh, set it to your preferred sensitivity for me it's 127 confirm then place this on the middle so make again uh, back button the Q click this and it should be clicked by release confirm and place this on top of this back icon and save so what it does like this you need to press and hold your back button um, in my case it's the Q key Oh, there you go so you, and if you want this to disappear you have to release the Q key there you go another press and hold your back button so you can change this and drop then if you want to remove this just release the back button so that's it so for the map update, it will be like this, you have to press and hold your map button, and there you go, so, and you have to release it, if you want to make this disappear, so once again, press and hold, and then release, so press and hold, then release. I'll teach you how, how to do it. So, open the Q1 up, edit. So, for my map, I'll set it to Z. Open it. So, click. Let's set it to instant. Confirm. And place this on the map here anywhere here so let's save this first 
then open the map then open again the Q1 app and edit so let's put fly mouse in the map so open this let's set it to Z again this one click so let's choose fly mouse press and hold click this link 127 confirm place it in the middle of the mouse so let's make you another third button Z button click this and it should be clicked and by release confirm and you should place this on this X on top of this X so save so what so it will look like this you have to press and hold the Z key for the map but for the map button see and we have to release it to make it this to make this disappear press and hold the map button again release press and hold the map button you can um, mark the directions then release so that's how you set up the bag for the new update of fly mouse so when riding vehicles in the Q1 I'll teach you how let's pick some ride let's let's choose this so when key mapping vehicles in Q1 up it's best to use this layout this one you don't need to key map buttons for this once you once you're in the driver's seat just use the WASD button to to drive so that's it of course you need to key map buttons for this and you know just a simple drop just a simple drag and drop will do so but you can also use this this one let's use this wait you can use that layout but you cannot use the this one you cannot use this one for this kind of layout if you use that WASD button it, it's for a look around see you should not use the WASD buttons for this layout because it will have a conflict in the mouse movement so but you can use other buttons if you like but if I were you, I'll use this. I'll use this to avoid uh, conflict in the to avoid conflict with the mouse movement. And for this one, you can drag and drop any buttons you like. But for me, I don't use any buttons for this one. I use fly mouse for this one. But if you really want to use this layout I suggest that you don't use WASD keys and you have to use other keys for this I'll teach you this see
And you can do that while firing. And that's what I call super dive. Superman dive. So I'll teach you how to do that. So open Q1 up, edit. I'll make any buttons for that. And for me it's letter X. It's up to you. Click instant, confirm, and put this on your jump button. It's okay to slightly overlap on this one. Then make another button. So X again. This time it's also instant, confirm. And put this on the prone button. Save. So it will be like this. So that's how you do it. You can do the super dive if the windows is slightly elevated. See? can also use the Superman dive in this kind of platform. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. You have to you really need to time your jump. Um I hope that you find this tutorial useful and helpful and if you like this video please do subscribe for more DIY and gaming tutorials see you in my next vlog yeah